Now the different types of fractures that can one uh, that one can observe are the transverse fractures then we can have the linear the oblique non displaced fractures can be there then we can have the oblique displaced fractures we can have the spiral fractures in a lot of cases then we have the green stick fractures that are not easy to diagnose basically on the radiographs um it's quite uh, difficult to diagnose these green stick fractures then we have the comminuted fractures in a lot of cases so even that can basically uh, point out towards the uh, child abuse that it has occurred or not post mortem imaging is one technique that can be implied in a lot of cases and that is basically going to point out or give the evidence towards the child abuse then we can have the radiological skeletal survey prior to the autopsy and before opening up the body for autopsy one has to carry out this radiological assays wide range of injuries are found on bones whenever we are suspecting such a case of abuse fractures of skull this diagram is basically showing you uh, one of the displaced fractures of the skull and we can have uh, non displaced fractures of the skull we can have depressed fractures of the skull if the tables of the skull are pushed downwards that is basically defined as the depressed fractures of the skull so depending upon the head of injury uh, the depending upon the amount on the severity of the head injury it's basically going to relate towards the fracture and the type of fracture the skull fractures with intracranial hemorrhages are commonly found in a lot of cases uh, fractures in the occipital parietal areas are the most common areas that are involved in such kind of fractures parietal bone may dimple inwards without cracking phenomena so um this is basically a diagram that is basically showing you it's a flow chart whether or not certain kind of um basically observations are carried out or not whether the ct scan should be implied in a particular case or not if we have gcs starting from here we have gcs less than 15 a uh, palpable skull fracture is there uh, then skull uh, scalp hematomas they are also very important we have to look for them and not acting normally per parent so if the parent is obviously telling you that he's not acting normally you are basically going to go towards the ct scan making decision this is again going to be this is basically an aims criteria that we have to look for we have to look for the signs we have to look for the gcs criteria and as per history by the parent we have to decide whether the ct scan or the mri has to be performed in a particular case or not the fracture lines are again very important in a particular case horizontal cracks running backwards from the frontal parietal sutures they are again very important occipital uh, fractures they are again important in a particular case then we have the sutural diastasis this is also uh, one of the phenomena in which the sutures are basically not aligned there uh, there is a non alignment in the sutures and that will be looked for in a particular case